Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight. That's right, with a book called Good Night Tiptoe by Polly Dunbar. Once upon a time, Hector yawned. Tilly yawned. Everybody yawned. Everybody except Tiptoe. It's time for bed, said Hector, snuggling up. Tilly gave Tiptoe a kiss good night. I'm not sleepy, he said. Tilly helped put Prue's rollers in. Look who's not in bed, said Prue. I'm still not sleepy said Tiptoe. I don't want to go to bed. You can stay up while I clean Doodle's teeth, said Tilly. Then it's back to bed. OK, said Tiptoe, helping with the toothpaste. Now it really is time for bed, said Tilly. And she sang a lovely lullaby. Boom, 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 boom. I'm wide awake. When Tilly had settled tiptoe down again, he helped Tumpty with his bath. I want a story, said tiptoe. So Tilly read a bedtime story. Everybody felt very, very sleepy. Even tiptoe closed his eyes. Shh, whispered Tilly. I feel sleepy now, said Tilly. It must be my bedtime too. She cleaned her teeth all by herself. Tilly got into bed all by herself. Who's going to tuck me in, she said. Who's going to kiss me? Good night. I am, said Tiptoe. Good night. The end of Good Night Tiptoe by Polly Dunbar. Here on the Lights Out podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls and rabbits that don't want to go to sleep around the world. Good night. <laughs>